Yo, what's going on guys? It's Junius here today. And as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, we're going to be building this thing right in front of me, the Medieval Bell Tower. This is a little bit more complex than all the other designs I've done so far. So what I'll do is I'll do a step by step. I'll start with the bottom bit where the door is, then I'll do the tall tower section and then I'll do the bell tower on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a spot to go and build this and I'll be back here in just a second. Right, I've decided I'm going to build this just behind the Medieval Shopping Flags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off there. I'm going to go a gap of five, so one, two, three, four, five, another block there, one, two, three, four, five, another block there, one, two, three, four, five, another block there, so you've got a square shape. We're going to take these pillars up by five, so two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, then connect all these up, like so, there we go, so you've got like this cube shape going so far. Then what we're going to do is going to continue with the spruce logs. On the top corners here, you're going to place an, a pointy out spruce log like so. This is going to be all the way around. Then we're going to get some cobblestone. I'm going to go on the inside of these like so. I'm going to go the entire way around again, but leave a gap. And obviously it's up to you which side you want to have the entrance on. I'm going to have the entrance on this side, but it's completely up to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue this going right the way up to the point where it's going to meet these spruce logs up here. So there we go. So we're going to keep this going the entire way around. And we're going to make this three there, like so, because we've got a two high door. Continue this going right the way around. Once we've done this, we're going to get spruce stairs. Around the bottom half here, we're going to place spruce stairs like normal. Going right around the outside. Then spruce stairs and like upside down stairs going right the way around again. This is including under the outy point sections. There we go. Again, continue going right the way around. There we go. Perfect. We're going to get spruce slabs then and go down, up, down, up, down. This is in between the two logs, like so. Down, up, down, up, down. Continue this again, going right the way around. It's basically, you can do this on one side and then just repeat the entire thing going around the other. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some grass blocks. Place a grass block three, like so. And then we're going to get trap doors. I'm going to place these going around the grass blocks, like so. There we go. We're going to do this on the, th on the up three sides and not the side on the front because the front side's a little bit different. Not too much different, but it's a little bit different. But I'll show you that in a minute. There we go. And obviously, it's up to you what you want to add on this. I'm going to, I'm going to add maybe some bone meal to it. But I could add some flour. It's completely up to you what you want to add. Then what we're going to do is get the door. We're going to place a door in the backward section like so, just to add a bit of depth. Spruce log here and here. And a spruce fence, one, two there. Spruce stairs on top of these fences, like so. There we go, and there we go. And then an upside down fence there, like so. Spruce leaves here, one, two there, like so. And then on the top here, we're gonna go one, two, three on the corners, that's it, like all the way around. And then the last step for the, this bottom half is we're gonna get these stone buttons. And where these pointy out logs are, we're gonna add a stone button on the edges of each one of these, like so. There we go, there we go, two more, one, two. And then that there is the bottom section done. Now onto the middle part. Right, to do the middle section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do one side, okay? And then you can just copy that on the other three. So how we're going to do this side is going to go one, two, three. We're going to take these two, this one and this one up by 12. This one up by nine, okay? So there's one, two, three, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and then i'm going to take these up by three one two three one two three and then the top of these so the tenth block in the middle we're going to place this going right across like so then come back down to the bottom here i'm going to leave a gap of two and then place a cross log like so on the third block leave a gap of three and a cross log there like so and we're going to go repeat this on the other side again like so destroy these ones in the middle because what we're going to do is behind all this get some spruce planks we're going to take this going right up to the top to the point where the 10th block was in the middle. So we go, keep it going, and there we go, right at the top, like so. Then where we had these gaps where we destroyed them a second ago, we're gonna place an out log, like so. And then on these logs, we're gonna have buttons, like so. There we go. Spruce fences go in between all the gaps here in the front. Like so, there we go, there we go, there we go. So we've got that shape going so far, okay. Next step we're gonna do is where we had these two extra logs going higher, what we're gonna do is we're then gonna go one like this and then go right across like so one like that and then in between these we're going to have an upside down cobblestone stair there and here 
Oops, sorry, no there. And then a cobblestone slab in between, like so. On top of these, or oh, sorry, just behind these, we're going to have an extra log, like so, there. And then the spruce fences that go across, like that, okay? That there is one side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on the other, other three sides there. And I'll be back here once I've done that. Right, now that I've done the entire outside of the bell tower, also what I did off camera is I had a staircase going in here. I basically just added a big spruce log pillar going right the way up and I used just oak stairs and oak just regular planks going right the way up like so. Just a big spiral staircase and you can add torches in there if you want to, it's up to you. Then right to the top here for the bell tower, how we're going to do this is from this log here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this up an extra five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've got a six high log there. So again, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, like so. Then a temporary block on each side, like so. There we go. Oops, there we go. Then a normal stair, or sorry, a normal log, like so, facing upwards. Get rid of those temporary blocks. And again, temporary block in between each one of these and one and another log facing upward, like so. There we go. Then after this, we're going to work on doing the roof, which the roof, what we're going to do is get some spruce planks, place a spruce plank here and here. Again, around right the other sides, going right the way around. Whoops, there we go, there we go, there we go. Then what we're going to do, spruce stairs go on top of these, like so. Here we go, perfect. And then back to the spruce planks again. These, just basically, we're repeating one side here, going right the way around, like so. This kind of obviously goes out, and can't, this is going to kind of end up being like a plus shape in the middle. Like, if you look at this now, it, whoops, didn't mean to leave, I put that on there. This just kind of looks like a plus shape there. And then on top of all these, what we're going to do is we're just going to add logs going right, oh sorry, planks going right across like so. There we go. And then we're going to add stairs again on top of all these. Here we go. Perfect. Once we've done this around the entire of the outside, we're then going to add cobblestone to it, which we're going to do over here as well. There we go. Then get cobblestone blocks. And where like the spruce wooden planks are, we're going to place these logs, these are cobblestone blocks around the outside, except what we're going to do is, I shouldn't have actually placed that one there. We're going to leave this top one there because we're going to use stairs for that section. And you can, but you, obviously if you've been following the series, you'll 100% know what I'm doing. I did the same there, there, there. You'll 100% know what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to place a cobblestone stair here, there, here and there, and then an upside down stair, a regular stair, an upside down stair, and then underneath all these, we're just going to kind of connect these together like so. This is just to make it less pointy. I'm going to place an upside down stair here and here again like that. Again, I'll show you on this side. So, regular stair, regular stair, regular stair, regular stair. Upside down stair, regular stair, upside down, and then two upside downs facing inwards like that. There we go. And I'm just going to do, I'm just basically just going to keep doing this going right the way around like so. And so I'm going to see if I can do this a little bit quicker. There we go, perfect. Upside down stair, upside down stair, there we go, facing inwards again, here we go, just obviously because we're going to add something else down here as well, just so it's not just that one on its own, and then, what else was I doing, just, yeah, that, okay, that was it, yeah, as the points on top here, that, I literally forgot what I was about to do there for a second, regular stair, regular stair, upside down stair, upside down stair, and then on top of these we're going to get cobblestone slabs, Make this go right across like so, there we go. So we've got that texture going across just to make it look like it's being like, kind of like, separated from the others. And then this little down section here, place a normal cobblestone stair on the corners there, and then in between these, you're going to place a regular spruce stair like so. Just to add a bit of point to the end again. Cobblestone stairs on all the sides, just facing inwards. Or outwards, sorry, yeah. Then yeah, spruce stair in between these like so. There we go. And then the last thing we've basically got to do here, or it's like second to last, sorry, is we're going to get a cobblestone wall, place them here, there, and there, like so, okay? Here we go, perfect. I'm going to do this, go again, right the way around. Here we go, and then spruce stairs, oh sorry, spruce vents go in between these. Here we go, perfect. We're going to get spruce stairs, and then place these upside down, there and there. Go again, right the way around. This is just to make it so it's less pointy. Otherwise, you don't really want to be too pointy, otherwise it looks a bit out of shape. Here we go. One there, there, and there. I did that right, didn't I? Yeah, okay. And then what we're going to do is, the last thing I'm going to do is the bell section. So how the bell's going to work is, these four up here, we can destroy these, like so. Get a cobblestone wall, place it there. Spruce fence there. We're going to get one block of gold, place it there. We're going to place a temporary block. 
there we go and then bring these out kind of like again in a plus shape destroy this middle one take these down by two and then what we want to do is basically just create like a big square or a little square sorry a three by three square going right the way around ignoring this middle one here okay so we've got this shape so from the outside it should look something like that okay and that there ladies and gentlemen is the entire bell tower done and dusted if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more tutorials on my channel don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe turn on notifications all down below and i'll catch you guys in my next episode see ya